Um, again, I just was amazed at the crowd. You know, 8 o'clock game on a weeknight. It's cold out. Again, our crowd just continues to amaze me. Um, I was really happy with our defense in this game. I mean, we forced 28 turnovers in this game. Um, just did a great job. Had 17 steals. Um, held them to 20 points in the second half. Uh, Sarah Williams was having a good game. 15 points at half. Ends up with 19. She only scores four points the whole second half. Um, Copeland had six. She only gets two in the second half. So again, um, I'm really happy with that. And uh, Caitlin passes Brittany Griner tonight um, and scores, moves up to fourth <laughs> in the list. So it's pretty impressive. I thought Sid just worked so hard again. I mean, that girl just hustled. She had uh, on the floor, uh, has six rebounds. She has the highest plus minus of anybody in the team. Uh, Kate Martin continues to just play like like a pro. She's really playing well, uh, strong, confident, um, not forcing stuff, just doing, just playing her game. And uh, she's four for seven tonight, two for two from the line. Draft, great job, three three steals. So. You mentioned the 20 whatever forced turnovers. What was it from your defense tonight that you saw? Was it just higher activity on defense that led to that? Or? I thought we made Sarah a little apprehensive with the double. Mm -hmm. I thought she started to question. I mean, she had seven turnovers herself. Um, so I think that was a really, they did a really good job with that. Our, our team did a really good job with that. Okay, okay was that Hannah? Hannah? How's she doing? Hannah's doing well, uh, very well, actually. Um, and so, you know, just a, a little bit of a tweak and just had an opportunity to rest her. Something in practice? Yeah. Kate, was that the first assist you've ever had that the ball hit your face? So it didn't actually up? hit my face. I just like put my hands up to like protect my face. But yeah, that was wild. Was it like not ready for it? The speed. It was the very, it was like I was trying to break her nose. Yeah, she was trying to <laughs> throw the ball at my face. She breaks it once a year, so yeah, I was not help her year. out. Not this year. No, it was just a it was just a very fast pass, and I was just like not fully ready for it. My bad, but I'm glad Sid was right there. So yeah, we're Kate. Cool. Kate, you looked like you were shooting it with quite a bit of confidence tonight. Made, I think, three three-pointers. Just talk about what, what you were feeling tonight. Oh, um, four. Don't rob her on one. <laughs> <Sorry>. Don't <laughs> rob her. Uh, no, I, I mean, it helps whenever, you know, they have to double on Caitlin. They have to help inside, and they have to help on Caitlin. And I was open, knocked down some shots, and, you know, my teammates found me, so I was happy to knock them down. Kate, when you guys went small, you had some uh, post duties defensively. Yeah. What, what was that like? Um, you know, it's – not too terrible. I just, you know, have to use my speed and my quickness, play to my strengths there. Uh, but I'm going to do whatever I got to do. Um, and, you know, that creates problems for them on the opposite end of the floor, too. Um, it's not easy to guard the, the fives, but, uh, you know, it's not easy for them to guard me on the opposite end. So, um, you know, it creates problems for both. Okay, we've got to ask about a thousand career points. Mm -hmm. So, a couple thousand less than the girl. Uh, you're right, but still a significant milestone in the yep. uh, career of anybody playing college ball. Yeah, I mean, it's just super cool. Uh, you know, not everybody gets to do that, obviously, in their college career. And, yeah, it took me five years, but I'm still just going to run with it and be yeah, happy. Yeah, with it, so. No one's going to know. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I think a lot of people awesome. will know. Do you think you have to use the zone as much? Um, you know, I, I don't know if I thought we were, you know, we, our zone wasn't very good at their place, quite honestly. We haven't been able to use it very much. We haven't either wanted to or, didn't, you know, our player was doing fine. I really liked our zone today. We work on it every day, and we really haven't been able to use it very much. So it was kind of nice to be able to work on it during a game type of situation. Caitlin, um, big picture question, but when you think about this moment in NCAA college basketball history, the, everything that, that's happening, the new media deal, the record setting attendance numbers. Um, what do you see your impact being on all of that? Honestly, it's like, I don't know, I feel like I give the same answer every time. Like, it's just hard for me to wrap my head around. Like, I'm just trying to stay in the moment and enjoy every single second of it. And, you know, we understand how special and cool it is and what we're doing for the game and what we're doing for the state of Iowa and really for people around the country and how much they love watching our team. And, um, yeah, I think. It just shows how much the women's game is starting to grow and how many people are starting to fall in love with it, especially our team. Like, I don't know, I think you, a lot of people came and watched us for the first time last year and really saw how much fun and passion um, and how enjoying it is to watch a team that plays a fast paced, you know, basketball game. You know, we get a lot of threes up, you know, that's fun to watch. And also, we just love one another and we have so much fun out there. We smile, we high five, we get feisty. Um, and I think people really enjoy watching that. And, you know, when they come once, they continue to come back for more. And, 
Um, I think that's kind of been the story for us. What Maybe shoes did you have on tonight that you gave away? I had on Sabrina's shoe, yeah, custom, yeah. How does it feel on the, to, to give a kid your shoes and just to, to be on the other side of it and to see the, the look on her face after you give them to her? Usually they don't say much because I think they're in a little bit of shock, but <laughs> that girl had my jersey on and it was cute. She was like copying our stretching warming up, so I thought it was like adorable. <laughs> she was doing like leg swings when we were doing leg swings, so Aww. she was super happy to be there and um, she was sitting courtside, so um, you know, something easy I can make her day and um, I'm sure she loved it, so it was, it was cool. Any me. method behind what games you give your shoes away during? Like not really. Um, usually my Kobe's, I keep a little more to myself. Those are like my babies, but um, no, not really. Just whenever, kind of, yeah. So I'm, Lisa, I'm, I'm doing a story on Bailey over there. Um, he's a guy that the, the more success you have... <laughs> Let's go, baby. Bailey! <laughs> the more challenging his job can become when there's more and more interest in your program. Yeah. What are the things you appreciate the most yep. about him? Yeah, I, you know, we knew that we needed to really have somebody like Bailey come in a couple years ago, last year, right? Yeah. Last year, um, just because of the attention that this team was getting, his job becomes harder, right? The attention she gets and all the awards that she got last year. I mean, Bailey had a hand in it. Obviously, she did the work. But Bailey, you know, made sure that everybody knew about her work. If they don't know about her work, right? You know, you have to have that. So Bailey's done a great job. He really tries to protect her as much as he can from excessive media interviews which can be tiring for her and you know time consuming um bailey's been a great part of our team i'm really glad he's he's here he's done a great job and i'm glad you asked that question so thank you lisa there's five or six i believe uh, bench players have reached double digit minutes this game can you just tell how vital that is um you know just at this point in the season and before you go on the, the gauntlet of the big time yeah. i mean our bench this is i really believe I, this is the strongest bench we've had in a long time um, 38 bench points to four. Um, our bench, I have so much confidence going to our bench. I really do. And right now, you know, you know, Hannah didn't play tonight. I mean, that, right? And we're still able to win by, what, 40 points or something like that? It's, it's pretty impressive. So I'm very, very happy with the way our bench is performing. Lisa, Great. you guys have won 32 of your last 35 Big Ten games, including the Big Ten tournament. Just talk about, you know, how hard that is to do. I mean, this is a tough conference, and... Obviously, you know, we always think one game at a time. We got a tough one coming up at Ohio State. We know that. We went in there and beat them last year. I'm sure they have that game circled. Um, you know, we, we destroyed them basically in the Big Ten tournament and then beat them at their place when they were ranked number two and undefeated. So I know they have that game circled. It's going to be a really, really tough challenge, but we're, we're up for it. We're excited about the opportunity to prepare and get ready for it. I'd like to hear anybody talk about this. Tonight's game seemed a little bit more maybe chippy or physical at some moments. Is this maybe a rivalry that gets a little bit more aggressive or physical, or was tonight any, any different, you feel like, than some other Big Ten games? I think every game is kind of physical in the Big Ten. I honestly thought the refs called it pretty tight. Um, I thought they called a lot of fouls. I thought... Uh, Wisconsin was very physical with us. Um, I thought they were physical in the paint when we got into the paint. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say this is a rivalry. I, would, I think, you know, every game Iowa plays, people have, that we play, people have circled on their calendar because of what we've been able to do over the past few years and even what Coach Bluter's built here as a program. Like, people love playing the Iowa Hawkeyes. Um, people love coming to Carver Hawkeye Arena. And, you know, this is a great challenge to play here. But also when we go on the road, people love playing us. So. Um, yeah, I think it was physical, but you know that's just Big Ten basketball, so you better be ready for it. Speaking of that competitiveness, it looked like Wisconsin. Well, it could just look like it. They got it down to 13. They started talking a little bit more, and then you guys responded with I, I want to say it was a 15 nothing run, shut the game down. Did their chippiness and and chatter help motivate you guys to put the game away or anything like that? I think Coach Bluter at a timeout told us the best way to, you know, quiet them down is to show it through our play. And so that's kind of what we did. And I think, you know, that's what we always try to do is just let our actions speak for, you know, actions speak a lot louder than words. And so that's what we did there. This is for any of you. I mean, you guys have talked all year long about how this is a new team. You know, everybody talked about losing, you know, McKenna and Monica but also the depth and players stepping up, like Sydney Falters playing the best basketball of her career. You know, Taylor McCabe comes in, Kylie hits a couple threes. I mean, just what is it about this team behind the scenes that's really allowed you guys to kind of form your own identity despite losing those pieces and just kind of how everything sort of progressed so far? Well, I think that we've created a culture where everyone matters. And so everybody on this team knows that they're valuable. And everybody on this team knows that, you know, you might get an opportunity and you're gonna have to step up. And 
I think people work really hard outside of practice time and get shots up. And when their number's called, you know, since you know that you're valued on this team and that you matter, you know, you're going to step up and we're going to have your back. Um, it doesn't matter if it's the last person off the bench or whoever it is, you know, we're excited for them to come in and we trust them. Lisa, Kate had, I think, a pretty loud 16 points. How valuable are those things when they come at the correct time, oh, per se? Yeah, I, I mean, I just feel like she's playing so confidently and strong right now. I just, I love the way that Kate's playing and leading this team. Um, you know, again, she doesn't force anything. She took eight shots and made five of them, four for seven. It just, it, she's playing to her role. She's playing to her strengths. Um, but I think it's big when we can get extra people. I mean, everybody knows Caitlin's going to have double figures, but when we can have more than her, and tonight we had two others, and Sid and and uh, Kate, it it just helps us play. And you know? just as and just as a follow up for for either of you, everyone, including you, talks about Kate and her intangibles and her leadership. You would never trade that for anything. But how nice is it to get the crowd on their feet to for a, a tangible like a couple big. I mean, it, uh, that, it feels good. They love it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, look when Gabby again when she made that three, the place went nuts again. It's yeah. just so much fun. I think they, you know, they they obviously love Caitlin, but I think they really love everybody in this team and an opportunity to cheer for everybody. Lisa, we talked around Christmas time that maybe Caitlin was taking not taking too many threes, but had too much of the three point load potentially. What have you seen over the last few games where you know other people have been able to have Kate hits four tonight? You have other players you made like fifteen or sixteen. Just how different is this offense when everyone is making the three? It's completely different. I mean, we were just so much harder to guard when we're when everybody's uh, contributing like that and. You know, I mean, Caitlin's always going to be our leading scorer. That's okay. That's all right. But it's like when everybody else can contribute. I mean, tonight we had 25 assists, and she had five of them. I mean, 20 other assists by other people on this basketball team. That's really good team basketball. Okay, well, I'd be curious.